<laughs> um, headphones. Oh, yeah. It's a big one, isn't it? Actually? Yeah. How many headphones do you have and what are they? Oh, I reckon I've got eight pairs of iPhone headphones. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about Pro not, ones. Not, not including shit headphones. Yeah. Um, the first pair I ever had, I think, was a pair of Sony 4... 440s, I want to say. I think that was the name of them. I could double check. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. Sure 440s. Sure 440s. Oh, like studio. Yeah. I got them for my 21st birthday because that's like my friends all put in and bought them for me. Yeah. Uh, and they broke a few years ago. And then I'm, I believe it was your recommendation that I went out and got, or at least tried, um, a pair of Audio Technica M50. Yes, that was me. I'm pretty sure that was you. It was so I me. Went and these. I what? went to Soundcorp. The rubber's actually kind of failing oh, it's now. A bit cooked now. But, uh, yeah, but these are pretty old now. I've had these for a long time. I'm pretty sure I went and got these pretty yeah. much as we met because you had told me told me about that. Yeah, years I, rem- ago. I remember because I I remember I just like my friends had just bought them, and I'd yeah. I had a pair of the 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 ones below your ones. Um, yeah. But I remember listening to those the M50s and was just like, these are solid, like for the they price especially. So yeah. 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 For the so it's like it's like 200 bucks and you get these great headphones amazing um i'd definitely buy them again i really like them yeah i, just, I know they sound right to me people say they got too much low end and all this other bullshit but i'm like no nah, they sound like they should sound to me yeah so they sound like a good... i don't know i'd definitely buy another pair of them mm. other than that i don't know if this counts but i've got a pair of wireless sony headphones which sound pretty good too yeah so th- more th- pleasure those are your Practical. The, those are what you use. You use the the M50s and the. Uh, yeah. So the, you pretty much only ha- you only use those M50s for your uh, mixing and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. So, so they they're your go to. I, I only use the M50s and and those guys behind me. Yeah. That's all I use. Nice. Sometimes I might take it into Crosby Studio. Yeah. And listen to it, but like. At the end of the day, I, I I mix on the headphones and these monitors, and then I'll play it in my car because that's like another familiar space that I'm always using. Yeah. And if it sounds good on all three of those things, I know that the mix is okay. Yeah. Generally. Oh, yeah. Um, we're just getting some messages about um, other people's headphones. Berkey's got the M50s oh, yeah. as well. Um, mm-hmm. And he wants to trade up to the Bayer 770s, which, I mean, great, mi- uh, great microphones, great <laughs> headphones. Um, and, oh, have you seen, have you seen Rick's, uh, vocals? No. Oh, you got to see him, man. They look so good. Brad's got the, uh, the Bayer 770s. Not Daniel's got so the... I'm pretty a- sure Crosby's got the 770s. Oh, okay. They're, I mean, they're classic. So I've, heard, I've heard them. Yeah, they're, they're classic. Yeah. yeah. Great, great like, headphones. They sounded weird to me because I've been using these for so long. Now, the 770s are the closed back and the 990s are the open back version of the same yeah, headphones. Yeah, has got both. Oh, he's yeah. got both of them? Yeah, he's got both of them. Wow. Have you tried them both? Do you know which ones you like most? Because I haven't, no, I haven't not, listened to either of them. No, but I should. I'm going to now that you mentioned it. Yeah. Because yeah. um, I'm, I'm, an, like, I'm currently running open back headphones. Yeah. Um, it's it's funny. Da- uh, not Daniel is mentioning the HG six fifties, and uh, when I uh, oh he wants to get the eight hundreds. When I when I bought my headphones, I was tossing up between the ones that I got and the HD six fifties as well, and mm-hmm. I went with these bad boys, which are hell yeah. My KRK, I've got to get the number right. AKG. (laughs) AKG, sorry. Um, AKG (laughs) K712s. Sorry, I was looking at the K. uh, K712s, which are awesome headphones. These were part of my uh, move because I knew that if I had to sell my um, Adam A7Xs, I needed something high quality to, to mix on. And 
I was good. Yeah, the toss up was between the um, the HD six fifties and these guys, and the reason I went with yeah. these is because the HD six fifties didn't work as well without a preamp as these did. Um, yeah, and I didn't want to add anything else to my uh, setup, so these won it. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, here we go. I, I also have the these are my uh, M uh, sorry M forty Xs. The my um, what's them called Audio Technicas. Yeah. Hell yeah. And I also have a pair, another pair of AKGs, uh, which was my previous uh, before I upgraded to those guys. Uh, I can't remember what they are. I think they're like two, not two one twos. I can't remember. I, like they're like the model that most studios have, but there were also open backs that were quite good or semi open backs. Um, yeah. But the reason I got the, those M forties, the Audio Technicas, is because I wanted something to be able to mix live on. Yeah. But I did. But I sometimes find myself um, checking mixes that I've mixed on the other headphones um, on my audio, on my Audio Technicas because um, really aggressive sounds like uh, piercing high mids and high tones and also like just like boomy stuff down the bottom that you can't really hear that well on normal headphones. They just come through and you're like, holy shit, that's annoying. Um, mm. they're, they're good for checking for annoying frequencies, I find. Whereas the uh, open backs, I find, are like, even though they're more detailed, they're a bit more forgiving with stuff that would normally annoy you. So, yeah. Open yeah, backs versus closed it. backs. Holy yeah. shit, we're getting some messages here. Um, 770s for live studio oh uh, yeah um if, if he was a studio guy brad saying if he was in the studio he'd go the 990s uh yeah daniel says 990s have some weird high-end shit going on i haven't heard about that but yeah cool probably uh, AKG is probably just better stuff for mixing than the 650s yeah i agree um well i don't know like Eb you can use whatever really if you know your shit Oh, uh, Brad's got Dyna Audios. You bit, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Oh, they <laughs> and they're not even set up. Damn, bro. Just give them to me. I'll, I'll set them up. I'll sort it out. Sort out lickety split. <laughs> yeah, they sound great, Dyna Audio stuff. They've got those at Ginger. Yeah. They sound unbelievable. What if you could have one set of monitors mm. at a... Like, if, if someone was like, you can just get a set of monitors right now, what would you get? I don't know. I've not done anywhere near enough research. But, like, if I had to choose right now, it would probably either be um, Adam, like, high-end Adams. Like, yeah. I don't know. I love the A7s, man. Oh, have probably you... probably between, like... Have you seen the huh? S-series? Like, the S3s and stuff like that? No. They're... They're like the the one up from um, the A series. They're like five thousand dollars a speaker. Yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah. But like Dyna Audio, like I've always found that they sound amazing as well. So hell yeah, I don't know. Probably go with something with them. Yeah. yeah. How about you, mate? I think I like the. I think they're called Amphenol. They're like um, really weird looking ones that have like a big white circle around the tweeter. Um, I really like those. They're cool. I, I really dig the Focal BM6s. I think they're BM6s or B6s or something. like. Uh, oh, no, Twin 6s. So they're like uh, two 6-inch and a tweeter aside. Um, though, like, I've always like kind of looked at those and been like, I'd really like those. Or Barefoots if you've got a spare 10 grand per side to spend on a um, yeah, right. set of monitors, but I have to say, having owned the Atom A7Xs before and, y like, hearing your A7s as well, I really do like the ribbon tweeter sound of high of the high end. And They're nice and crispy. Yeah, so 
I'd, I'd probably either go the Amphenols, um, because they're cool, or a pair of the S series, um, Adams, if I had mm. an unlimited budget for speakers. And, and then yeah. I'd also pair that with one of those sick Adam subwoofers that, oh, they, they look so good. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure Adam make like the, a ridiculous size studio subwoofer. I can't remember how big it is. I think it's like, oh, I, I, I think it's like 18 inch studio subwoofer or something like that. It's ridiculous, ridiculous. and uh, like really cool. Oh yeah. Oh, Brad's just offered us to borrow uh, to borrow his uh, diamonds if it, we ever feel like it. Damn, son. Damn. Oh, <laughs> that is oh, very tempting. Ah, that... <laughs> uh, yes, I have checked out the HEDD stuff. Um, it's cool. I like. I haven't listened to any of it, but I've like I've checked out. It's fairly. They're fairly similar to Adam stuff. Have you seen the HEDD stuff? Head, I guess it's called. They're, they're pretty much just another brand that does um, ribbon tweeters. Oh, there you go. It's the old Adam engineer who went out on his own and, yeah, oh, yeah. makes sick room toiters. Um, <laughs> yeah, cool stuff.